Chapter 441, Fortune Rivaling Heaven, Ma Hong Yun Come, have a taste of this fragrant rice cake. Selling tea, selling tea, this is top grade brick tea. Ah Su family's kumis, we are a ten-year-old brand, anyone who drinks this will know. There was a huge mix of small stall on the ground as different smells entered the nose, shouting and bargaining noises were heard all over the place. Fang Yuan walked among them, almost at a shoulder-touching distance with the surrounding people, the festive mood was so intense. Not only was food on sale, but clothing too. Ordinary sheep skin robe, dog skin robe, or the higher quality bull skin robe. There were beautiful fox snow robes, or the wolf skin robe that had metal pieces in them which were often worn by warriors. Children were having fun at the food stalls, while men were bargaining at the weapon stalls. Women were choosing gems, pearls, or gold and silver accessories. As he walked in, Fang Yuan saw a square that was assembled casually. On the square, there were large wooden cages filled with people. Outside the cage, there were specialized goo masters guarding the place, as a fat man was shouting at the top of his lungs, selling slave, five male slaves for half a primeval stone. Fang Yuan took a look and knew that it was the flourishing slave trade in Northern Plains. These people were from tribes who lost in battles, after being captured alive, they lost their freedom and became commodity. Inside the cages, there were children who were thin and wore no clothes, there were also kneeling men who lowered their heads while locked by a steel chain. Of course, there were women too. The fat man shouted for a long time, his forehead was sweating but the passers-by were only watching. His eyes rolled as he thought of an idea, opening the wooden cage and letting a woman whose face was full of dirt walk out. Look, this is a top-quality woman. As he shouted, he ripped off the torn clothes of the woman, exposing her breasts. Look, what a plump breast she has. Next, he turned the woman to the other side and slapped her but in public. Look again, such a huge butt, she can have many children. Buy her home to have kids, you can even use her for manual labor. During the process, the woman's expression was numb, she was like a wooden puppet that could be manipulated by anyone. As the fat man shouted earnestly, some commotion finally occurred in the crowd. Someone asked, how much are you selling her for? Three tails of primeval stone. Just three tails of primeval stone. The fat man raised three fingers. Three tails of primeval stone, it was not even half a piece. But the person who asked for the price suddenly shouted, What, three tails? Is this robbery, I might as well save up two more tails to buy a big stomach horse, that is much more worth it. The fat man's oily face trembled as he spit on the ground, rubbish. You can buy a woman and ride her in bed, but if you buy a big stomach horse, although you can ride it, can it make babies for you? Poor miser, get lost if you do not want to buy. The fat man was a rank one goo master, and the person scolded was a mortal, he immediately shrunk his neck and walked away feebly. Fang Yuan gave a few glances of interest before retracting his gaze. The slaves that the fat man was selling were just mortals, they could not fetch a good price. But if he sold variant humans, they would be sold for a much higher price. If he sold goo masters, they would be high-quality slaves, the price would be the highest. Seeing these slaves, Fang Yuan could not help but think of Ma Hong Yun. This person was born as a slave, but he had heaven-defying luck. First as a slave, he participated in battle. When his tribe lost, he saved the young tribe leader by pure luck when escaping for his life. Because of this huge merit, he was given the surname Ma, and was no longer a slave. He became an ordinary mortal in Ma tribe. In order to earn a living, he went out to hunt, but because of his poor skills, he had no earnings. When he returned, he was tripped by a rock, he smashed this rock in anger, but discovered a white silver relic goo under the rock. He contributed this rock to his tribe's young tribe leader. 
The young tribe leader needed this white silver relic Gu and was overjoyed, not only did he reward Ma Hongyun handsomely, he even gave him an opportunity to cultivate. Ma Hongyun awakened his aperture and had be great aptitude, but did not have any useful Gu worms. He was often bullied by nearby Gu masters, and was thrown into the river once. Ma Hong Yun who could not swim drank a lot of water as he flowed downstream along the river. At the lower stream, Xing tribe leader's third daughter, Xing Ling Er, was bathing. Ma Hong Yun saw everything and according to Xing tribe's rules, the beautiful Xing tribe genius female Gu master had no choice but to become his wife. Ma Hong Yun thus received a lot of help from Xing Ling Er, he never lacked any Gu worms or primeval stones. In fact, Xing Ling Er even stole her tribe's precious Gu to raise his aptitude to a grade. When the matter was exposed, Xing tribe leader did not want his daughter to marry this poor lad, thus he secretly sent an expert to kill Ma Hong Yun. But this expert had an argument with someone along the way and was killed by another expert. Ma Hong Yun and Xing Ling Er thus became husband and wife, and held an important position in the tribe, he was hated by Xing tribesmen due to jealousy, and they plotted against him secretly. He had no choice but to escape to poison grassland, and just as he was about to be killed by the poison beard wolves, he found Chang Shan Yin. After saving Chang Shan Yin, he became his loyal subject. Just like this, due to his ridiculously good luck on many occasions, Ma Hong Yun rose up slowly, eventually becoming the lord of the imperial court. After He Lu Lan died, he became the overlord of the imperial court for over a hundred years, over a dozen times. Later, he obtained thieving heaven demon venerable and giant sun immortal venerable's partial inheritance, and became a Gu immortal. He was even given a blessed land by a Gu master. When battle and conflicts raged in the world, Ma Hong Yun became one of the powerhouses of Northern Plains, resisting the Grand Army from Central Continent and gained overwhelming reputation. At this time, Ma Hong Yun should be 13 years old. It is a pity I do not know his true identity. Ma Hong Yun is only a name given to him after he saved Ma Tribe's young tribe leader. Ma Tribe is part of the Huang Jin bloodline left behind by Giant Sun, to vie for the Imperial Court, they have been expanding these few years, absorbing the members of many tribes. I wonder if Ma Hong Yun has already become Ma Tribe's slave. Fang Yuan collected his thoughts, and found himself outside a gambling den. There were two couplets on the door. Left was, show some courage, gain the fortune of the four seasons. Right was, show some skill, obtain the wealth of the four cardinal directions. Across, it wrote, luck changes with time. The gambling den had great business, Fang Yuan was moved. With my experience, I might be able to earn a small fortune. With this thought, Fang Yuan smiled, thinking of Ma Hong Yun. This lad with overwhelming luck, he was deceived by someone who gave him the lowest grade rock to gamble with him. Under such absurd circumstances, he obtained a rank 5 Gu. Fang Yuan still had some business at the moment, he did not enter the gambling den yet. He walked past the entrance of the gambling den, and entered the central area of this market. This place was much quieter, there was less traffic flow and almost all passers-by were Gu masters. Even if there were mortals, they were attendants and followed beside the Gu master, lowering their heads as they carried goods. Other than that, there were some young masters and young ladies who had not awakened their aperture. Although there were no guards, there was a clear distinction between the two areas for mortals and Gu masters. The difference in strength was a formless barrier, it divided the two types of people with evidently different lives. Fang Yuan walked briskly, wherever he went, Gu masters gave him a look of admiration and respect, when they were in front of him, they would stop and give way to him. Some people started talking among themselves, why is there a rank for expert? This person has an unfamiliar face, he does not seem to be from the few large tribes around here. Be careful, whenever the market opens, there will be some demonic goo masters who come in to get rid of their loot. Rank 3 and 4 were completely different. 
Rank 3 were the middle pillar, most tribe elders of major tribes were at this level. Rank 4 were experts among Gu masters, most tribe leaders were rank 4, and they could roam the mortal realm freely without restraint. Rank 4 initial stage aura made every action of his attract the attention of everyone. Reverence, curiosity, or apprehension. This place was solely for the business of Gu masters. There was a Gu refinement area, where Gu refinement were done in place of a Gu master, at the same time they sold and bought recipes. Fang Yuan lacked the recipe of the wolf enslavement Gu, after a few transactions, he bought the recipe for the rank 1 to 3 wolf enslavement Gu. The recipe for rank 4 was held in the hands of the few large tribes, it was rarely seen in the market. Thereafter, Fang Yuan went to the restaurant, but did not manage to find any top quality wine. He went to the largest shop next. Esteemed expert, your presence is our shop's honor. Please come in. The shopkeeper was a rank 3 elderly Gu master, he came out personally to attend to Fang Yuan. I need large numbers of wolf enslavement Gu. Fang Yuan stated his needs immediately. Yes, please come with me for further discussion. The elderly brought Fang Yuan to a beautiful room on the third floor. After some bargaining, Fang Yuan bought 5 rank 3 wolf enslavement Gu and 38 rank 2 wolf enslavement Gu. The shopkeeper was rubbing his palms in joy, he knew he had met a huge client, esteemed customer, is there anything you still need, feel free to state them. Do you have defensive Gu? Fang Yuan asked. The elderly reported a long list of Gu names, and Fang Yuan shook his head as he listened. There was one rank for Gu but it did not fit his enslavement path. The rest were all ordinary Gu worms. Next, Fang Yuan asked about Flying Gu. Flying Gu were rarely seen, because it had a steep learning curve. Normally, only outstanding members of large tribes would train in it from young. But because they had their tribe's resources, they did not need to buy flying goo. As for other goo masters, very few tried to learn flying. The shopkeeper said proudly, Customer, you came to the right place. In this entire market, only my shop has a rank 4 flying cloud goo. But Fang Yuan shook his head. Although flying cloud goo could ascend to a high altitude, it had poor maneuverability and had average speed, it was suitable for Gu masters who did not have proper flying skills. For him, he might as well use the rank 3 Eagle Wings Gu, it could twist and turn easily in the sky, he could use it more efficiently. After buying one Eagle Wings Gu, Fang Yuan asked about the Bone Bamboo Gu and Ghost Fire Gu. He needed these two Gu to repair the rank 5 Battle Bone Wheel. The shop had many rank 2 Ghost Fire Gu, but there was none of the rank 1 bone bamboo goo. The shopkeeper laughed bitterly, customer, my apologies. All the bone bamboo goo in the market had been bought by Man Tribe's new external tribe elder. Not just my shop, but none of the other shops have any left. Oh. Who is this person? Fong Yuan's gaze shone. Chapter 442, June Strength Goo. Man tribe owned Hong Yen Valley, they had won a few battles these years and had expanded greatly. Northern Plains was different from southern border. Southern borders had a forest and mountain terrain, it was easy to defend but hard to attack, long distance traveling causes huge expenditure. Southern border clans worked on self-development, accumulating slowly and growing stably, keeping a pure bloodline. But Northern Plains was a huge grassland, there were lots of conquests going on. The tribes of Northern Plains rise up fast but also fall just as quickly. A few wins might allow a small-sized tribe to become a medium-sized tribe, and from a medium-sized tribe, expand into a large-sized tribe. But one loss could also cause this large-sized tribe to break down into numerous small-sized tribes. Man Tribe had absorbed Shur Tribe recently, and the elder Shur Wu from Shur Tribe became Man Tribe's external elder. He was a bone path goo master, he was the one who bought all the bone bamboo goo in the market, as he claimed to be researching a new goo path recipe. 
Fan Yuan memorized this person to heart, before asking the shopkeeper about soul path and strength path Gu worms. I have a rank 1 gene strength Gu, it can raise the strength of a Gu master by 1 gene 1. Each Gu is sold for 220 primeval stones. I had the rank 2 strength of 10 gene Gu, it raises the Gu master's strength by 10 gene, it is sold for 690 primeval stones. I also have the rank 3 Jun strength Gu, 1 Jun is 30 Jin, each Gu is sold for 4550 primeval stones. Although I do not have the rank 4 strength of 10 Jun Gu, if customer needs it, I can arrange for it to be transported over, each strength of 10 Jun Gu is sold for 36,000 primeval stones. The shopkeeper gave a chain of prices that he was extremely familiar with. At the end, he added, of course, this is only the Jin Strength Gu and Jun Strength Gu. If customer wants to walk on the Strength Path, and require Beast Strength Gu, we also have Wolf Strength Gu. It can give you the strength of a wolf, gaining stamina and endurance as well. I also have Horse Strength Gu, it can give you the strength of a horse, it is most useful for running. Before, Fan Yuan was using Beast Strength Gu to walk on the Ancient Strength Path. Jin Strength Gu and Jun Strength Gu were new popular alternatives that appeared in the last few hundred years. Although Strength Path was weak and no longer had its former glory, there was still developments done for it. The one who had this contribution was a famous rank 7 Gu Immortal in Northern Plains called Chu Du, titled, Domination Immortal. He was the one who invented the Jin Strength Gu and Jun Strength Gu, and even refined the rank 6 immortal Gu, strength of a thousand Jun. A Jun was 30 Jin. A thousand Jun was 30,000 Jin. In one of Earth's legends, the victorious fighting Buddha's Jin Gu Bang was only 13,500 Jin. Air Lang Shen's three pointed, double edged lance was only 25,200 Jin. Hu Du became a Gu immortal 300 years ago. The recipe he refined was widely spread, quickly becoming the main branch of the Strength Path in Northern Plains. Ancient Strength Path used Beast Strength Gu, like Green Bull Strength Gu, Biao Strength Gu, Dragon Strength Gu and so on, because the materials from the ancient times were already extremely rare by now, the cost of refining Gu was huge. Domination Immortal Chu Du's recipe was superior in that the materials were easy to find and had low cost, and the success rate of the Gu refinement was higher than Beast Strength Gu. Northern Plains was most probably the region where Strength Path was most flourishing at the moment. Northern Plains had battles and conquests often, with Strength Path's low cost, they gave evident increase in strength to low rank Gu masters. Thus, many Gu masters in Northern Plains cultivated Strength Path as their minor path. They often fought in fierce battles, when they expend their primeval essence, they would need their physical bodies to fight. Physical strength was very important then. There is a phrase on earth, war is the catalyst for technological advancement. This sentence worked perfectly well in this world as well. Northern Plains was a place where new Gu worms were constantly invented. From that Shirwu elder who joined Man Tribe, one could see the attitude that Northern Plains Gu masters had towards innovation. Domination Immortal later died in battle, by the hands of Feng Jiogu who descended from the Heavenly Court. After he died, he was crowned as the Twilight of Strength Path by future generations, after his death was announced, countless Gu masters in Northern Plains cried painfully. Sai, the number of talents and geniuses in this world is like the number of stars in the night sky, the number of talented people are like carps in the river. The five regions are too big, the size of one earth cannot compare to even one region. Especially in the battle 500 years later, dragons and snakes rise from the land, experts and powerhouses compete, and old monsters come out of seclusion one after another, as new talents rise up to power. Countless heroes, conquerors, the differing personalities from the righteous and demonic paths clash and engage in a life-and-death battle. It is truly a grand and exciting event that would go down in history. I have already used old removal goo secretly to remove ancient bronze skin, essence iron bones, 
and golden steel tendons, and even my beast phantoms. Firstly, these strength path beast phantoms originate from southern border, they would be restricted in northern plains, and could not be used well. Secondly, if I summon a beast phantom, there is a danger of exposing my identity. My greatest advantage now is Dang Hun Mountain, and my 500 years of experience, with the blessed land's resources, I can walk on the enslavement path. But enslavement path has a weakness, that is the beheading the leader tactic, thus I need strength path to go along with it. Since I have Chang Shan Yin's appearance now, I also need to merge into northern plains, I should use this Jun strength Gu. Fang Yuan's thought flickered as he made a decision, requesting for the rank 4 strength of 10 Jun Gu from the shopkeeper. Next, he looked at the Soul Path Gu Worms. There were much more Soul Path Gu Worms than Strength Path. There were Ghost Fire Gu, Ghost Cry Gu, Ghost Face Gu, Ghost Axe Gu and so on for attacking. There were Ghost Cage Gu, Ghost Hand Gu, Ghost Hitting Wall for confinement and confusion. For defense, there were Ghost Sealing Shirt Gu, Soul Shield Gu and others. For healing, there were Ghost Chi Gu, Ghost Tears Gu and others. For investigation, there was Ghost Eye Gu. For movement, there were Soul Fly Gu, and Elusive Ghost Gu. There were also Ghost Soldier Gu, Impermanence Ghost, Air Travel Ghost, and Nine Sun Mother Ghost Gu, all of them had to do with Enslavement Path. This was the true manner of a great path. Strength Path was extremely weak now, while Soul Path was still standing strong, this point could be easily seen here. Strength Path Gu Worms only consisted of Jin Strength Gu, Jun Strength Gu, and Beast Strength Gu, most were for attacking. In terms of defense, investigation, and assistance, there were little. It was hard to create a Gu set from just Strength Path Gu. As for Soul Path, there were many Gu Worms that were in all the different aspects. Forming into a set, they could help each other and obtain greater effects. Look at that domination immortal Chu Du, he was a Strength Path Gu Immortal, but he used other Gu Worms for defense, investigation, and storage etc. Fang Yuan came with an objective, he set aside all these Soul Path Gu Worms, only looking at those which could be used to refine the soul. There were no rank 4 Gu for that, but a bunch of rank 3. There was Divine Soul Gu, Dragon Soul Gu, Ice Soul Gu, Dream Soul Gu, Moon Soul Gu, General Soul Gu, Grudge Soul Gu, Poem Soul Gu, Horse Soul Gu, Heroic Soul Gu, Chi Spirit Gu, Body Spirit Gu, Cloud Spirit Gu, Wind Spirit Gu, Tiger Spirit Gu, and others. These Gu Worms could refine the soul, they all had their unique use. For example, refining the soul into ice soul, in the future when the Gu Master uses ice type Gu Worms, they would gain a considerate boost. Cloud Spirit, Wind Spirit, had the same effects. If one used Dragon Soul Gu to refine a Dragon Soul, when he uses Dragon Strength Gu, Dragon Scales Gu, or Dragon Travel Gu, there would be a boost to the effect. Fang Yuan looked for a while, and did not find any Gu that was more suitable for him, thus he chose the Wolf Soul Gu that he had planned to buy. From ancient times, soul and enslavement were of the same origins. Enslavement path was originally split from the soul path, when Gu masters combined it with the immemorial wisdom path, the enslavement path finally became an independent path. Beast enslavement Gu, slavery Gu, they were used to control the soul, allowing one to become a ruler of the mind. NOV Euro LSS 1N hosted the premier release of this chapter. If Fang Yuan refined the wolf soul, it would greatly help him in enslaving wolf packs. The rank 3 wolf soul Gu was 7,700 primeval stones. Fang Yuan bought them in bulk, buying all of the stock in the shop, getting all 8 wolf soul Gu. Wolf soul Gu's effort could be stacked, a rank 3 wolf soul Gu was not enough to refine Fang Yuan's 100 man soul. Wild Gu worms had their own will, they were hard to refine. But the Gu worms Fang Yuan bought had already been refined by others, thus when the transaction ended, all these Gu were in Fang Yuan's control. 
he kept all these goo inside his aperture, and left the shop, going to other shops. His aim was rank 2 and 3 wolf enslavement goo, as well as rank 3 wolf soul goo. A million primeval stones was insufficient, but what Fong Yuan wanted were common rank 2 and 3 goo. He did want to buy rank 4 goo. But this market was too small, there were few rank 4 goo, and were all not the ones he wanted. After three days, Fang Yuan became famous in the market. Every shop knew that there was a rank 4 expert buying goo in bulk. By the fifth day, Fang Yuan spent a lot already, over five to six hundred thousand primeval stones. During this period, he would walk around the market's ranch often. In the ranch, there were many livestock sold, of which big stomach horses were most popular. This horse, even mortals needed it badly. As for those who bought the hump wolves for battle, they were mostly goo masters. There were also many goo masters who caught wild beasts to sell here. Like bulls, horses, falcons etc. On the grassland, the most commonly seen were wolves, they were also sold in large numbers. Fang Yuan asked around, comparing goods and prices, until he saw a pack of thick back wolves that he wanted. Fang Yuan had poison beard wolves and wind wolves. It was hard to replenish poison beard wolves, and since they were weak in the sunlight, they were destined to be eliminated. Wind wolves had fast speed, while thick back wolves had high defense. If they could be added into his wolf army, they would cooperate well together, and form a proper wolf pack. But on the ninth day, Fang Yuan accidentally found out that among a group of water wolves, there was a young mutated beast. He immediately bought these water wolves without causing suspicion, getting a great deal for himself. The market lasted thirteen days. Fang Yuan bought over a thousand water wolves, and many goo refinement materials, as well as food to feed his goo worms, as he left on the tenth day. After his purchases, he had only three thousand primeval stones left on him. Money was spent like flowing water, Gu Guang watched in amazement as he admired Chang Shan Yin secretly, this hero truly had a grand disposition. Fang Yuan followed Gu Tribe and returned to his original place to stay. He cultivated with all his heart, using wolf soul Gu to refine his soul while refining Gu on the other hand. After two failures, he successfully refined the rank 3 golden back wolf skin goo into the rank 4 azure wolf skin goo. Azure wolf skin goo was used for defense, although it was common, it fixed Fang Yuan's problem of insufficient defense. On this day, he finished his soul refinement and stopped cultivating, when a cry was heard outside his room. What happened? He opened the door and asked the goo master who was guarding the place. The Gu master said grimly, our big Missy Guyao died. The search team found her torn clothes in poison grassland, she was killed by poison beard wolves. Chapter 443, Man Tribe's Challenge A month later, Guyao's death was finally discovered. The news spread as many Gu tribesmen cried. Although Guyao had a troublesome personality, she was kind-hearted and the beauty of the tribe, people loved her. She had many pursuers in the tribe. Oh my daughter, it was father who harmed you. Old good tribe leader was extremely upset, falling terribly ill. Gu Guang was the stand-in tribe leader with the elders assisting him. Gu tribe was anguished and upset, they had a heavy mood. Gu Yao's death had huge impacts. Man tribe leader's third son man duo fell in love with Gu Yao at first sight, he had been demanding for her. Now that she was dead, where were they going to find a girl for him? Man tribe was a large tribe, they had expanded greatly these years, and had absorbed many small tribes in the process. After a few victories, their morale was high, and they were even more arrogant against the despondent Gu tribe. During their conversations, they gave Gu Guang great pressure as they demanded fiercely. Gu tribe was a newly arrived tribe, they were not as huge as man tribe, and now that they had lost their home, they had to live in someone else's territory, relying on Hong Yen Valley during the snowy climate. Thus, Gu Guang was very passive now, 
he was extremely anxious. In his room, Fang Yuan sat on his bed as he opened his eyes. On his right palm was a wolf soul goo. This goo was about thumb size, it was like a grey wolf-shaped doll, giving off an eerie blue light. This is the ninth wolf soul goo. Fang Yuan injected his primeval essence and the wolf soul goo expanded, in a few breaths time, it turned into a grey-white wolf soul. The wolf soul opened its mouth, howling silently as it crashed into Fang Yuan's body. This impact was silent, but Fang Yuan could feel his soul trembling, as his eyes went into a daze. The wolf soul directly crashed into his soul, the originally human-shaped hundred-man soul underwent some reaction, and lost its human form, fusing with the wolf soul into a surging soul mist. The soul mist did not disperse, instead it moved and rolled around in Fang Yuan's body, showing a wolf's head, tail, or even Fang Yuan's appearance at times. After five minutes, the soul mist gathered and formed a new human soul. Except this human soul was different. Fang Yuan's hundred-man soul earlier was completely his own appearance, his eyes, ears and nose were all the same. But after going through nine wolf soul goo's refinement, although the hundred-man soul was still human-shaped, there was a pair of wolf ears on his head, and his hair extended to his waist, his eyes also became wolf eyes, his entire body was thinner and his nose was sharper. Before, his hundred-man soul was huge and was almost bursting his actual body. But now, after refinement, it was more condensed and the color had turned from pale white to a slight hint of gray white. Fang Yuan calculated, when he finishes using his wolf soul goo, the hundred man soul would be refined to its limits. By then, his entire soul would become half man half wolf, the so called wolfman soul. Wolfman soul is many times stronger than an ordinary hundred man soul. After having the wolfman soul, Fang Yuan would be able to continue strengthening his soul, raising the hundred man soul to thousand or even ten thousand man soul. Of course, ten thousand man soul was not the limit, there was even hundred million man soul. In theory, the soul can strengthen limitlessly. Back then, spectral soul demon venerable who created the soul path definitely surpassed hundred million man soul. His demon venerable soul had a thousand arms and palms, three heads, the front head had dragon horns, lion mane, snake eyes, and elephant tusks. The left head had a peach forehead, grass hair, and three flower-like eyes. The right head had a cloud fringe, lightning eyes, fire ears, and golden mouth. He was unbelievable strong, his might was immeasurable. Even now, this appearance was still deeply worshipped and adored by many people. Many mortals in southern border use clay to create his statue, to pray to and give offerings. Spectral Soul Demon Venerable was the number one soul cultivator in history. Fang Yuan's wolfman soul now was like an ant against a giant, he still needed to grow stronger. After a little rest, Fang Yuan took out the strength of Ten Jun Gu. This goo was an iron weight, it was very heavy to carry. Fang Yuan bought five strength of ten jun gu, he was already using the third now, his body's physical strength had increased to twenty jun, that is, six hundred jin. The rank four strength of ten jun gu was weaker than rank four beast strength gu, but its advantage was that the strength could be stacked. Previously, Fang Yuan had used a kunlun bull strength gu, and obtained the beast phantom of the Kunlun Bull. But if he used a second Kunlun Bull strength goo, there would be no effects, and he would not get another beast phantom either. But Jun strength goo did not have this restriction, it could be stacked until the body's limit was reached. Of course, although Fang Yuan had the strength of 600 Jin, he could not unleash them all at once normally. The common weaknesses of strength path Jun strength Gu still had them. Otherwise, domination immortal Chu Du would not be called the twilight of strength path, but the rise of strength path. Of course, similar beast strength Gu could be stacked, but an additional beast fetus Gu was needed to do so. Many different recipes of beast fetus Gu were passed down. 
But even so, the materials needed for the goo refinement were very rare, as the cost of the goo refinement was too high, and the success rate was inferior to June strength goo, it eventually got eliminated in the competition. Fang Yuan activated his primeval essence, injecting them into June strength goo. The June strength goo flew above his head, giving off a strange light. The light shone on Fang Yuan as his body was steadily modified. But at this time, there were knocks on his door. Soon after, a voice was heard, Uncle Chang Shan Yin, Junior Gu Guang would like to meet you. Fang Yuan let him in, only to see that Gu Guang was in a pathetic state, there was even a white bone arrow on his shoulder, he was in a terrible condition. Upon seeing Fang Yuan, Gu Guang kneeled on the ground, his eyes were red, begging, Uncle, please save me. Fang Yuan's gaze shone, he had an answer in his heart, as he spoke, what happened? Is Man Tribe attacking us at full force, have they charged into Gu Tribe's camp already? Gu Guang answered, Uncle is half right, the problem is Man Tribe. The Man Tribe leader's third son Man Duo heard that father was bedridden and unconscious, thus he immediately brought his Man Tribe experts over to challenge us, wanting us to hand over my sister Gu Yao. But my sister is already dead, how can I hand her over to him? No matter how I explained, that Man Duo lad did not believe me. According to the rules of the grassland, we good tribe have to accept the challenge. Now, he had already killed our tribe's third elder, and even injured three people, even I lost to them. Fang Yuan's guess was completely right, these few days, Man Tribe had been oppressive and tyrannical, the more good tribe endured, the more it fueled Man Tribe's arrogance. Although Fang Yuan had been cultivating hard these days, he was not in closed cultivation, he was clear of the outside situation. Speaking of which, Chang Shan Yin's return to Northern Plains requires a grand stage to create some commotion. I should use this chance to announce the return of the former hero. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan helped Gu Yao up and said, During these days, I have been imposing on Gu tribe, I cannot watch from the sidelines, bring me there. Uncle, I thank you on behalf of our entire tribe. Gu Guang was overjoyed. The two walked out, but before they got to the entrance, they heard the shouts and screams outside. Gu tribe is full of cowardly rats, come out and accept your death. This was the voice of a young man. Man duo, you are going too far. A Gu tribe elder screamed. He he he, so what if I am bullying you? Leopards and wolves capture their prey, eagles and falcons bully small birds, this is the rule of the world. Quickly hand over Gu Yao, otherwise I will continue challenging you and kill every single member of Gu tribe. Despicable. If old tribe leader was here, would you dare? Gu tribe elder rebuked. Man Duo was furious, humph, you are the despicable ones, you agreed to the wedding but now you refuse to hand over the woman. You went back on your words. I know, you are hiding Gu Yao, trying to stall for time. First, you said she ran away, now you said she's dead. Do you think I am a fool? If a mere rabbit dares to toy with a wolf, you will have to pay with your life. Sure Wu, continue beating them, challenge them. Good tribe, quickly send your next victim here to fight. Ha ha ha. Good tribe elders' expressions were pale, they looked at each other but none dared to go up. Sure Wu was huge and bald, with his bulging muscles, he walked onto the stage with a cruel smile. He was ranked three peak stage, having great strength. The elder that Good Tribe sacrificed was beaten to death on the spot. He walked on the center of the stage, staring at Good Tribe's camp, why is no one here? Don't tell me you are afraid. Good Tribe was furious and ashamed, fire burnt in their eyes as they stared at Sher Wu. Cowardly chicken, let me give you some courage. I have a hundred thousand primeval stones here, if anyone dares to come here and defeat me, I will hand the primeval stones over to you. No one answered him. Sher Wu laughed in a frenzy, Good tribe, good tribe, you are but a bunch of rabbits and sheep. Have you laughed enough? 
With Gu Guan leading the way, Fang Yuan walked out of the crowd with a plain expression. Shi Wu's laughter stopped, his pupils shrunk as he looked at Fang Yuan in shock. Rank 4 Gu Master Who is this person? Not just Shi Wu, but all of the Man tribesmen here had this huge question. Was Man Tribe concealing another Rank 4 Gu Master? Man Duo felt something amiss. He came here to find trouble because old Gu Tribe leader was bedridden. But to think that Gu Tribe had a second rank for battle strength expert. Before I came, I had already checked clearly, where is this expert from? Carrying such suspicions, Man Duo jumped down from his horse, changing his attitude as he placed his right hand at his chest, greeting Fang Yuan, Hello friend, you are not from Gu Tribe, why must you interfere in our matters? Fang Yuan gave this man Duo a glance, feeling amused by this young man. The first time he had heard of this man Duo was from Gu Yao's descriptions. Although this man Duo was the third son of man tribe leader, he was weak and sickly since young, and had poor aptitude, only C grade. Although he was over twenty years old now, he only had rank two cultivation. He was dark and skinny like a monkey. But he was definitely not as feeble as Guyao described, he had a scheming and devious pair of eyes, with the flames of ambition burning within them. Chapter 444 Man Tribe's Invitation In northern plains where only experts were respected, where only strength mattered, Man Duo was able to gain his father's favor, and was able to mobilize tribe elders to challenge Gu Tribe. It showed his ability and courage, he was definitely not a good for nothing young master. Fang Yuan's eyes showed amusement. Chang Shan Yin was fated to be Gu Tribe's guest. I know Northern Plains rules, and it is true that I should not interfere in others' business. But I had just heard this little brother taking out a hundred thousand primeval stones. I am lacking primeval stones recently. Why would I reject money offered to me? Shi Wu heard this and wished he could slap his own mouth. My mouth was really itchy to think I attracted a rank 4 expert. His heart was sour and bitter. Man Duo laughed dryly, this is an easy matter, if Senior lacks primeval stones, this Junior is willing to offer 500,000 primeval stones to you. What he meant was, he wanted Fang Yuan to keep out of this. At once, good tribesmen looked nervously at Fang Yuan. Although Fang Yuan was the legendary hero, it was only his reputation, those who truly acted like a hero were rare. Moreover, there was a phrase, a wise man submits to circumstances. Good tribe was in a slump now, while man tribe was huge and powerful. Chang Shan Yin was only an outsider, he had no reason to help and bring trouble to himself. Thus, Fang Yuan became the center of attention, his attitude decided how this situation would progress. As everyone watched nervously, Fang Yuan laughed proudly, a gentleman only takes wealth that he deserves. I do not feel that I deserve a gift of 500,000 primeval stones. But a hundred thousand primeval stones that I earn from battle is extremely valuable. Come, according to Northern Plains rules, I accept this battle. Fang Yuan walked onto the stage. Uncle Chang Shan Yin Gu Guan felt extremely touched, tears were overflowing as he was lost for words, shouting behind Fang Yuan as he cheered. The elders of Gu tribe were all extremely moved. As expected of Chang Shan Yin, a true righteous hero. Unmoved by benefits and money, he is truly a man of justice. There are many people who offer icing on the cake, but few people help out in times of need. Chang Shan Yin will be an esteemed guest in our tribe forever. Man Duo's expression was grim, extremely ugly. He knew that there was no need to say more, he shut his mouth and looked at Shi Wu. Shi Wu felt Man Duo's gaze and felt bitter in his heart. He had just submitted to Man Tribe not long ago, and became an external elder of Man Tribe, he wanted to make contributions to the tribe badly. Although Man Duo's cultivation was low, he was the tribe elder's third son, upon hearing that old Gu tribe leader was sick, he came over with Man Duo to challenge them. But he did not expect to meet Chang Shan Yin. 
Although the other party was only rank 4 initial stage, he was already rank 3 peak stage, the two stages might look close, but Wu Shi knew clearly that this difference in a large realm was incredibly large. But in this situation, he had no other way out, if he avoided battle, he would be greatly despised and criticized. In northern plains which advocated courage and fighting spirit, he would no longer have a future. Sher Wu gritted his teeth secretly as he entered the stage forcefully. Please. He bowed to Fang Yuan, barely forcing a smile. Fang Yuan nodded lightly, standing on the spot as light azure wolf fur grew on his body rapidly. The wolf fur covered his entire body, his ears, face, and even limbs. This is Azure Wolf Skin Goo. Wu Shi's heart sank, although Azure Wolf Skin Goo was a very common and ordinary rank 4 goo, its defense was not something that a rank 3 goo could easily penetrate. The goo tribesmen behind Fang Yuan all concentrated and watched as their eyes shone, awaiting Fang Yuan's grand display of his prowess. Some even shouted loudly, Kill this fellow, he killed our tribe's third elder. Shi Wu heard this and his heart shrunk, he sighed bitterly, feeling the huge trouble ahead of him, oh no. After the earlier battles, I have less than 30% of my primeval essence left, I am not his match at my peak condition, not to mention now. Looking at Shi Wu who had a distracted gaze and stiff movements, Fang Yuan snickered in his heart. This person had lost his fighting spirit, even if he had his complete strength, he could not display half of it. After several matches, his primeval essence was obviously lacking. Such an opponent, in Fang Yuan's eyes, was fish on a chopping board. But Fang Yuan did not want to kill him. For what? He was Man Tribe's external elder, if he killed him, that would be a slap on Man Tribe's face. Although Fang Yuan was not afraid of trouble, he did not want to create unnecessary trouble for himself. Even though Sher Wu killed a good tribe elder, that was their own business. Come. Fang Yuan stepped, and activated Wolf Sprint Gu, bursting forward like an arrow, as afterimages appeared behind him. Sher Wu's heart was already in despair, seeing Fang Yuan's fierce charge, he retreated in fear. At the same time, he summoned three flying bone shields. Piak Piak Piak. Fang Yuan moved like a shadow, getting close for a physical fight, he struck three times and smashed all three bone shields. Shi Wu tumbled and rolled away, summoning another three bone shields. Piak 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 As Fang Yuan attacked at lightning speed, the three bone shields broke again. He had the strength of twenty Jun now, although he could not display all of it, it was no problem breaking these shields. What other moves do you have, use them all. Fang Yuan did not attack again, he gave Shi Wu a chance to catch his breath. Shi Wu was sweating profusely, he gritted his teeth and rubbed his hands, summoning two iron bone broad axes. Wah! He shouted loudly, raising both axes as he attacked fiercely. He he he. Fang Yuan laughed lightly, not attacking but placing both arms behind his back, using the wolf travel goo to move. His movements were unpredictable, like petals floating in the air, his broad shoulder and thin waist gave a brilliant unrestrained feeling. Shi Wu growled loudly, no matter how he moved both his axes, he could not even touch Fang Yuan's clothes, he was completely at Fang Yuan's mercy. Lie down. Fang Yuan sighed, stretching out one finger, it looked slow, but it rapidly touched the axe. Shi Wu was already dizzy from Fang Yuan's movements, after feeling this force, he lost his balance and fell face flat on the ground. Good tribesmen saw his pathetic state and cheered loudly, as the thunderous sound turned into one phrase, kill him, kill him. Shi Wu's expression was ashen, his fighting spirit was gone. Fang Yuan had control of the entire situation, he was like a lion toying with a sheep. He felt that he was not Fang Yuan's match, but the more he thought like this, the less battle strength he could muster, and the worse the battle situation became. Man Duo's heart also sank to rock bottom. 
Damn it, this sure Wu did not display his true ability, he was scared witless by the other party. But even so, that rank 4 Gu master is too strong. He defeated Elder Shi Wu without breaking a sweat. Sigh, if Shi Wu dies, I would lose a tribe elder, would have to face the accusations and fury of my brothers when I return. But unexpectedly, Fang Yuan did not attack anymore. You are but a rank 3, if I use rank 4 cultivation to kill you, others might think that I, the great Chang Shan Yin, am bullying the weak. Leave. Fang Yuan waved his hand. Uncle Chang Shan Yin. You cannot spare this scoundrel. Behind him, Gu Guang shouted. But Fang Yuan ignored him. Immerse yourself in the story verse, N. V Epsilon L B N. Shi Wu reacted quickly, getting up and showed an expression of joy as he escaped death. Thank you, Lord, for sparing my life. Thank you, Lord, for sparing my life. Fang Yuan frowned, scram. Yes, yes, yes. Shi Wu turned and left. Senior, I'll take my leave. Man Duo paid respects and rode his battle horse. Good tribesmen mocked and scolded them as they left with great humiliation. Father, I have failed you, I am here to ask for punishment. Man Duo kneeled on the ground, lowering his head in shame and fear. Man Tribe Leader had a muscular body, having rank 4 peak stage cultivation. He sat on the tiger skin chair grandly as he looked at Man Duo below his feet, this time, old good tribe leader was Bedridan, and you brought multiple rank 3 experts, how did you fail? You did badly for sure, but I heard news that good tribe brought out another rank 4 expert. That is indeed so. Shi Wu was defeated by him. This person only displayed a bit of his actual strength, and he managed to toy around with our strongest elder Shi Wu, his true ability was unfathomable. However, I was in charge of this matter, it was my fault for not getting enough information, resulting in this failure. This child is very ashamed, I implore father to punish me. Man Duo's eyes were red as he said in a sobbing manner. Man Tribe Leader heard this and his tone relaxed, stand up, although you failed, you are still my son. Tell me about the incident. Man Duo quickly spoke, describing the scenario that happened that day. But when he had just started, Man Tribe Leader jumped up from his chair, staring fiercely at Man Duo, he said he is Chang Shan Yin. Which Chang Shan Yin? Are you sure his name is Chang Shan Yin? I would not dare to lie to father even with ten thousand guts. Man Duo quickly explained. Man Tribe Leader was in a daze. Father, father. Man Duo called him softly. Is this Chang Shan Yin an expert with a great background? Man tribe leader recovered from his days, his expression was solemn, I can't tell yet, he could be an imposter. But if it is true, then Northern Plains has another formidable character emerging. You can leave now, I will handle this matter. Man Duo jumped from shock, his father was an extremely busy man, but now that he was handling this himself, that showed how important this Chang Shan Yin was. Chang Shan Yin, Chang Shan Yin, who in the world are you? A few days later, in Gu Tribe. A few days ago, it was all thanks for Brother Shan Yin's help. This is 500,000 primeval stones, it is a token of our gratitude, please accept it. Old Gu Tribe leader had a pale expression, he seemed to have aged 10 years after losing his daughter. Fang Yuan rejected it for a few times before accepting it, these days, I have been staying in your tribe, it is only right that I helped out. But I really lack primeval stones now, I shall borrow these from you for now. Brother Shan Yin had great morals, you are truly a hero of Northern Plains. Old Good Tribe Leader was speaking, when his subordinate brought in an invitation, as well as a present. The Old Tribe Leader's expression was grim. He handed this invitation and present to Fang Yuan, Brother Shan Yin, Man Tribe Leader knows you are here, he is inviting you to his tribe as a guest. Chapter 445, Fixing Battle Bone Wheel Fang Yuan took a look at the invitation, the words written were very polite, 
of course they were written using Northern Plains characters, they looked wild but profound, and at the end, there was Man Tribe Leader's name, Man Tu. This letter was written by Man Tu personally, it showed his sincerity. The content of the letter was Man Tribe Leader's admiration towards Chang Shan Yin, and stated that the matter earlier was but a misunderstanding among children, since Chang Shan Yin did not kill the external elder Shi Wu, Man Tribe was extremely grateful. Thus, he was holding a banquet at night, and was sincerely inviting Fang Yuan to come. At the same time, this present was an item to apologize on behalf of Shi Wu, for offending a hero. Fang Yuan opened it and laughed, this man tribe spent a lot of effort. In the box, there was a hundred bone bamboo goo. Evidently, after Man Duo returned, he investigated Fang Yuan clearly, and learnt that he was making purchases in the market. Oh brother Shan Yin, I have a favor to ask of you. Old tribe leader spoke. Fang Yuan waved his hand, I understand brother, don't worry, I will urge them during the banquet, to reduce the conflicts between both your tribes. Ah, my greatest thank to you, brother Shan Yin. The old tribe leader was very touched, he got up in a hurry and bowed deeply towards Fang Yuan. There was still some time until the banquet, Fang Yuan sent them off before closing his door. Fang Yuan sat on the bed, he willed and a light flew out of his aperture. The weak light dispersed revealing the battle bone wheel. This rank 5 goo is huge, its height was almost at the ceiling, once it appeared, the large room instantly felt cramped. There were many cracks on the battle wheel, and even some severe scars that threatened to destroy it. The deepest scar was extremely damaging, nearly splitting the wheel into two, only connected by a little bit of white bone. It was a shocking sight. This rank 5 goo worm's luck was not good, after being beaten up by Chang Shan Yin, its original owner Ha Tu Gu died, causing it to become a wild goo. It had to eat the skeletons on the battleground to barely survive, unable to fix its injuries. After that, it was attacked by Fang Yuan and Gu Yao together, the spring autumn cicada was a rank 6 Gu, it could not subdue rank 5 Gu easily. Fang Yuan could only beat it till its last breath to subdue it. But precise so, the battle bone wheel was at the brink of destruction, when it appeared, several bone fragments fell off the wheel. One could say, its situation could not be any worse. Fang Yuan took out a bone bamboo goo from the gift box, using spring autumn cicada's aura, he refined it instantly. This goo worms was shaped like a finger bone bamboo, it was pale white and looked like a white candle. Fang Yuan held the bone bamboo goo in his hand, as his primeval essence moved according to his will, going out of the aperture towards the underside of his tongue. The ghost fire goo was residing at the underside of his tongue, having formed into a blue lump of fire. Fang Yuan breathed in and blew out. With a hu sound, he breathed out a lump of eerie blue ghost fire. The ghost fire landed on the bone bamboo goo, slowly burning the top of the bamboo. Fang Yuan held the bottom of the ghost bamboo goo like he was holding a candle. Ghost fire continued to burn, emitting a cold feeling that was chilling to the bone. As the top part of the bone bamboo goo burnt with ghost fire, it slowly melted and turned into a trace of white bone smoke, floating up. Fang Yuan placed the bone bamboo goo closer to the battle bone wheel, and the white bone smoke moved towards the crack of the battle bone wheel like it was sucked over. The battle bone will shook slightly as it recovered slowly. In a while, the eerie blue ghost fire got smaller, as Fang Yuan breathed out another lump of fire to sustain the candle. After five minutes, this bone bamboo goo was used up, as Fang Yuan took out the second bone bamboo goo from the gift box and continued using the ghost fire to ignite it, causing white bone smoke to appear. As he repeated the cycle, after more than 30 bone bamboo goo, Fang Yuan finally repaired the deepest crack on that battle bone will completely. The gift box which was filled with bone bamboo goo had lost about a quarter of them, if Fang Yuan wanted to repair the entire battle bone wheel, just these bone bamboo goo were not enough. 
and the battle bone wheel was far from being usable in battle. The deepest wound was fixed, but the other injuries were still plaguing the wheel. It was like a patient, after Fang Yuan's resuscitation, it was pulled back from the abyss of death. But this patient was still in grave danger, it needed to continue receiving treatment. You cannot get fat from eating one mouthful, battle bone wheel's damage is too severe. But if that was not the case, I would not have been able to subdue it. Even if it is fully fixed now, my primeval essence cannot activate it. There is no rush here. Fang Yuan got down from the bed, flexing his numb limbs as he opened the windows, it was already dark, the stars were shining in the sky. It is time. Thinking of the banquet at night, Fang Yuan stepped out of his room. As he walked out the courtyard, Man Duo and Good Tribe's father and son were already waiting for him. Man Duo greets Lord Chang Shan Yin. Man Duo saw Fang Yuan and immediately greeted, showing absolute respect. Have you all waited for a long time? Fang Yuan nodded, asking casually. Man Duo replied, It has only been six hours, it is not a problem. It is my great honor to stand before Lord's doors. Senior Chang Shan Yin, father has already set up a grand banquet nearby, awaiting your arrival. Good tribe's father and son will accompany you to this banquet as well. Fang Yuan looked at this man duo, feeling pity in his heart. This lad was intelligent and capable, but fate toyed with him, giving him poor aptitude, he was just like Fang Yuan in his previous life. All right then, come along. Fang Yuan rode his hump wolf as he left Gu tribe campgrounds with the rest of them. Man Duo guided the group of about a dozen people as they rode their hump wolves to a faraway place. The cool night breeze blew past the ears, as the grassland was running in the opposite direction. Moonlight poured down like water, one could clearly see at a short distance, but from afar, the moonlight looked like a foggy veil. The grass on the ground was oozing with jade green essence. The mountains looked like they were gradually flowing towards the sky. Under such a night sky, wolves sprinted on the never-ending land, as the beautiful moon gave an unrestrained sense of freedom. As everyone sprinted, they saw a group of hump wolves on a mound. There were a group of goo masters sitting on the wolves' back. A goo master was waving a huge flag in his hands, that had the word, man, on it. After seeing Fang Yuan, the group of goo masters rode the hump wolves as they came over. Man Duo saw this and laughed, Lord Chang Shan Yin, my father is the one ahead, he is here to welcome you. This was the custom of Northern Plains, if an esteemed guest was invited, the host would often travel Ten Li, to greet them. The two groups of hump wolves met in the middle. Man Tribe Leader got off his wolf, laughing as he walked over, ha ha ha, today's moon is as bright as the sun, this is the radiance to welcome the return of Northern Plains hero. Lord Chang, I have heard so much about you. Man tribe leader was nine feet tall, he was extremely muscular and strong. He wore a loose sleeveless fur robe, showing his two shoulders, his ancient bronze-colored arms were thicker than a normal male's leg. But just as he finished his sentence, it seemed like heaven played prank on him. The night sky was covered by some dark clouds, as the moonlight vanished, causing the grassland to sink into darkness. Man tribe leader's loud laughter became softer, as he felt extremely awkward. It was Man Duo who was quick-witted, immediately laughing as his eyes rolled, Senior Chang Shan Yin is our Northern Plains great hero. Father, you are the most respected hero in our man tribe. Tonight is a meeting of heroes. Look, the great aura of heroes caused heaven to tremble, causing winds and clouds to stir. His words caused the awkwardness to fade away, as man tribe leader's expression returned to normal as he walked to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan and the others also got off the wolves. Man Tu first gave Fang Yuan a deep greeting, as Fang Yuan placed his right hand as his chest to return the greeting. Next, Man Tu stared at Man Duo intentionally, using a scolding tone, nonsense. How can I compare to Lord Chang? 
Lord Chang was renowned in Northern Plains as the Wolf King, he dominated the world with his wolf enslavement skill. He even killed the rank 5 Gu Master Hatu Gu, eliminating a bunch of bandits and got rid of a great evil, causing his name to go down his history. He he he, tribe leader man too, why are you so humble? Fang Yuan laughed lightly, you are man tribe leader, ruler of near a thousand Gu Masters. You are a true conqueror, leading man tribe to many victories, and you even control Hong Yen Valley, you are the overlord of this area. My cultivated had fallen to rank 4 initial stage, while you are at peak stage, you surpass me greatly. Although I have wolf enslavement skill, I can only control beasts, unlike you who control people, our difference is night and day. Tribe leader Man Tu is the true heroic conqueror. Man Tu was stunned. The Wolf King was well known for his aloofness and arrogance, he was hard to talk to, to think he was so talkative now, and showed such a humble attitude. But he understood quickly after thinking about it. This Chang Shan Yin was famous when he was young, with the nature of a young man, he was arrogant. Now that he was a middle-aged man, and had gotten into such trouble, his nature was had already been refined, it was normal for him to be more composed now. Man Tu did not expect Fang Yuan to be so approachable, but to receive such praise from Wolf King Chang Shan Yin, he was secretly happy. He thought even more highly of Fang Yuan in his heart now. Although his cultivation was rank 4 initial stage, he had once killed the rank 5 Ha Tu Gu, Man Tu did not dare to underestimate him. He laughed and said, Lord Chang was already rank 4 peak stage 20 years ago. Even though your cultivation fell due to injuries, you can still recover quickly, or even surpass your former cultivation. By then, how would my cultivation be your match? At this time, the dark clouds dispersed and moonlight shone down again. He he he, the two of you are the current hero and conqueror of Northern Plains. Good tribe leader spoke at an appropriate timing, the most valuable thing is that the meeting of tiger and wolf did not lead to a fight, but instead you appreciate each other. We are lucky to witness this, this is truly seeing the moon after the clouds part. Such words made everyone laugh. Ha ha ha, brother Gu, your words described the scenery perfectly. Quick, the banquet has already been prepared, it is just nearby. Man Tu looked at Fang Yuan and made an inviting pose. He did not set the banquet at his camp, but rushed here to set up the banquet close to Gu tribe camp, it showed his hospitality and sincerity. Good, after you. Fang Yuan laughed and agreed, but his heart tightened. The dark clouds came and left quickly, it was a peculiar sight. Most likely, Gu masters were on the move, it has not been a month since he buried fixed immortal travel Gu. The immortal Gu aura has not faded yet, hopefully a Gu immortal does not find it. Chapter 446, Soul Path Gu Immortal Gu Wang. In the night sky, the moon shone brightly. A large group of dark clouds moved quickly despite looking slow, it moved above Fang Yuan and Gang's head, 5,000 li towards the south, towards the sky of an unnamed little hill. Dark clouds covered the beautiful moonlight, casting a large shadow as darkness engulfed this hill. The dark clouds stopped moving as a sword light flew out from it, it was the flying sword letter Gu. The flying sword letter Gu shot into the mound, and entered a mysterious space, vanishing. After a while, the little hill shook, as a bright red light flashed. The red light was dazzling, like the setting of the sun, it gathered into a lump, like the creation of a red sun. At once, the radius of a few hundred li was engulfed in bright red light. From this mini sun, a jade bridge stretched out. A rank six Gu immortal, having a youthful appearance in a round and white face, stepped on the bridge and walked out. He wore a snow fox fur robe, his face was glowing with red light as he looked up at the dark clouds, laughing, Gue Wang, it has been a while. Kek Kek Kek. Accompanying the terrible sounding laughter, a person emerged from the dark clouds. He gave off the strong aura of a rank 6 Gu immortal, it was Gue Wang. Gue Wang quickly descended, 
Just as he was about to land on the ground, a large pair of greenish-black bat wings appeared behind his back. The bat wings flapped as he remained in the air, looking at the rank 6 Gu Immortal on the bridge. Loner Hongyu, these are the lava bats I promised you, a total of 3,500,000. Take a look. Gu Wang spoke, his voice was very coarse and unpleasant, it gave people goosebumps. His appearance was also extremely ugly, messy hair, a high forehead, deep eye sockets, tightly shut eyes, and ears as large as half his brain. Loner Hong Yu heard this and raised his head, looking at the dark clouds in the sky. His brown eyes started heating up and turning red, turning into a color resembling heated metal. His gaze literally became hot, as it pierced through the dark clouds and allowed him to see the countless bats flying inside. These bats were all dark red in color, giving off great heat. They screeched as they flew around each other. Loner Hongyu looked around as he nodded in satisfaction, three and a half million lava bats indeed, with them, my Hongyu blessed land would not need to get rid of lava into the ground every month, I can benefit from this greatly. I will keep these lava bats. Kekekek. Gue Wang laughed heartily, the dark clouds tore open as the bats flew out after losing their restraints. These bats did not fly around randomly, they quickly descended like a black-red waterfall, entering the sun. Each blessed land's door was different. This mini sun was Hongyu blessed land's entrance. After these chaotic bats were brought into Hongyu blessed land, Gue Wang said, Loner Hongyu, since you accepted these bats, it means you agreed to barge into Langya blessed land with me. Of course, when have I, Loner Hongyu, ever broken my promise? A month later, we will get to Langya blessed land. But that land spirit is still around, with just the two of us, it might not be enough. Loner Hongyu said in worry. You do not have to worry about this, I have asked the Hua Hai three immortals to help. Gui Wang said. Oh. The righteous paths Hua Hai three immortals agreed. Loner Hong Yu was shocked. Humph, what is righteous, what is demonic? It is but personal interests. Lang Ye Blessed Land has countless recipes, the Hua Hai Three Immortals are obviously moved. Ha, huh, you are right. I have to make arrangements for these bats, I will not send you off Gui Wang. Loner Hong Yu said. Gui Wang snorted as his bat wings flapped, bringing his body into the dark clouds as quickly as lightning. Dark clouds moved, flying towards the north, covering the moon in its path. As it entered poison grassland sky, the clouds stopped, Gui Wang stopped and showed some confusion, eh? What's going on? There is the aura of an immortal Gu. He showed a look of disbelief as he landed, the place he was standing at was the location where Fang Yuan and Gu Yao first met. Although the immortal Gu's aura is already extremely weak, it is a real immortal Gu. Strange, there is the aura of an immortal Gu, but no Gu immortal's aura. Is this a wild immortal Gu? No, that's not right, this is man-made. That means, a mortal obtained an immortal Gu. Gui Wang thought about this and felt great excitement. Fifty years had already passed since he rose to Gu Immortal Realm, yet he still had no Immortal Gu, forced to use rank 5 Gu Worms only. Immortal Gu were extremely rare, many Gu Immortal live their entire life without having a single one. Don't tell me, after working hard for half my life, my luck is finally here. An Immortal Gu's allure was overwhelming, Gui Wang's heart was palpitating. He flapped his wings, following the immortal Gu's aura as he flew over. He wanted to search for the Gu using the trail of aura. After a moment, he stopped, the sea of ghost face sunflowers was before him. To think there are so many ghost face sunflowers here, Kekekek, they are mine. Gui Wang laughed coldly, although his eyes were closed, it did not obstruct his vision. He willed and the dark cloud which accompanied him started rolling, as it descended like a huge beast, biting the large field of sunflowers. 
Immediately, countless ghost face goo flew up as numerous ghost cry goo started to shriek. Nether Ghost Claw Gue Wang stretched out his hand and a huge green claw shadow appeared, scooping up these ghost cry goo and ghost face goo. At once, many wild goo were caught. A moment later, the dark clouds flew into the sky again, the sea of sunflowers was gone, only a huge crater was left in the ground. Great Harvest Gue Wang's mood was good, compared to the immortal goo, this was a small appetizer. After leaving the newly created hole, Gue Wang frowned, what's going on? The immortal Gu's aura weakened. Don't tell me, it's sealed. He continued flying forward, trailing after fixed immortal travel Gu's aura, he was extremely fast. After fifteen minutes, his eyebrows raised, the immortal Gu's aura moved from the ground to the air, how can this be? He looked around, and after a few breaths time, he understood. I see, this is the Earth Spike Rat's territory, this mortal goo master flew across it. Heh, his goo worms are not bad, actually having a flying goo. Gue Wang snickered as he spread his wings and flew into the air. He followed Fang Yuan's previous path, meeting the shadow crows along the way. A bunch of small birds. Gue Wang snorted, his body shook slightly as a hundred pale wandering ghosts flew out. Rank 5, 100 Ghost Knight Travel Goo The wandering spirits flew around, knocking into the shadow crows and smashing their soul to bits. The shadow crows' bodies were unharmed, but they fell down and were dismembered by the earth spike rats. Gue Wang went on a slaughtering spree, as this area's blood smell intensified, causing more shadow crows to come and scavenge for food. At the same time, the entire earth spike rat group was alerted, they pierced out of the ground attempting to attack Gue Wang. Gue Wang chuckled, activating hundred ghost night travel goo and several hundred ghost face goo. At once, numerous spirits and souls flew in the air, different ghost faces danced in the air, like a stone mill crushing everything in its path. Hundreds to thousands of shadow crows fell onto the ground like dumpling entering a pot. The earth spike rats feasted upon their bodies, but the wandering spirits and ghost faces caused damage to them as well. Earth spikes hit Gue Wang's body one after another, but were repelled by the black light on his body. Other than that, many shadow crows assaulted him with their steel claws. Gue Wang neither dodged nor avoided, he flew straight ahead. If it was a rank 5 Gu master, under such circumstances, facing numerous attacks every second, he would run out of primeval essence after a moment. But Gu Immortals had immortal essence, one bead of green grape immortal essence could be diluted into a large amount of primeval essence, it could fill the entire blessed land for tens of years, even a hundred years without vanishing. This meant that every Gu Immortal had endless primeval essence that they could use, able to use rank 5 Gu without stopping. After thousands of shadow crows were sacrificed, the shadow crows retreated in fear. Gue Wang did not chase them, after flying past the earth spike rat's territory, he landed at the place Fang Yuan landed. This was where Fang Yuan used dusty goo on bright pearl goo. The aura thinned again. How can a mortal seal an immortal goo? No, there is another possibility, that is this immortal goo is heavily injured on the verge of death. I have to hurry. Gue Wang felt a strong sense of pressure as he continued flying close to the ground. Using another rank 5 Gu Worm to accelerate, he raised his speed again. Twenty minutes later, he arrived at the battlefield where Chang Shan Yin and Ha Tu Gu fought to their deaths. Here, Fang Yuan took out Chang Shan Yin's corpse and used Dark Toss Gu to suppress fixed immortal travel Gu's aura again. Sensing that the immortal Gu's aura was near indiscernible, Gue Wang's patience reached its limits. He stopped for a moment, using his investigative Gu to scan the surrounding, continuing on his journey after having no discoveries. This immortal Gu will be mine. Be it dead or alive, I must see it. Gue Wang flew close to the ground, swearing in his heart.
The banquet had already been going on for a long time, there were young women dancing, delicious wine and food to consume, under this lively atmosphere, Fang Yuan had already formed a brotherly relationship with Man Tu. Brother Man Tu, I offer you a toast. I hope that you can do me a favor and mend your relationship with Good Tribe. Fang Yuan raised his wine cup and drank. Man Tu showed a look of difficulty, after drinking the wine in his cup, he said, I would not dare to refuse Brother Chang's wine, but Hong Yen Valley is a small place, we Man Tribe expanded quickly and now our numbers are huge. If we have to provide for another Man Tribe, I'm afraid. Moreover, Good Tribe went back on their words, the promised wedding was delayed and even fell through. We are truly angry and disappointed. Man too sounded angry but he already had a scheme in his heart. He wanted to absorb Good Tribe, but he could not find an excuse. At the same time old Good Tribe leader was a rank 4 Gu master, with him still around, Man Tribe could not take them down easily. Thus, when Man Duo proposed the wedding, he agreed immediately. Next, with news of Gu Yao's death from Gu Tribe, Man Tu did not believe. In his opinion, this was an excuse of Gu Tribe after they realized Man Tu's intention of devouring them. Chapter 447 Hints and Clues Gu Speaking about Gu Tribe, the lively banquet atmosphere turned cold. Old Gu Tribe leader quickly stood up and gave an explanation. Gu Guang stood at one side, looking at his father, he felt bitter and pained. His sister was dead, his father was grieving, he wished none of this was real. But now, he had to explain to outsiders, proving to them that his daughter was truly dead. This was such a painful torture. While Man too listened to their explanations, he refused to accept it. Chang Shan Yin was a righteous hero, and also the genius Gu master that Chang tribe nurtured back in the day. After he killed Hatu Gu and the bandits, he was praised by the people, and with his great reputation, he was known by almost everyone in Northern Plains. Thus, to give Chang Shan Yin face, Man Tu gave them his full attention. But even if Chang Shan Yin's reputation was five or six times higher than now, it could not match the benefits of him absorbing Good Tribe. Now that he had a proper excuse to do so, Man Tu would not let go of it so easily. Thus, he patiently listened to Good Tribe Leader's explanation before looking at his third son. Man Duo laughed coldly in his heart, standing up. He bowed deeply at Fang Yuan, before taking out a Gu Worms in public, please take a look Senior Chang. This Gu looked like a butterfly, its long body was like an incense stick, with its tail still burning with thick smoke. The smoke changed into rainbow-like colors at times, while being colorless and odorless at times. Is this, the chase smoke goo from ancient times? Fang Yuan's gaze shone. Man Duo was stunned, using a tone of admiration, Senior is absolutely right, this junior is in awe of Senior's knowledge. I obtained this goo by chance, as long as one is stained by this smoke, it would not dissipate for months, it is perfect for finding someone's traces. After pausing for a while, he continued, to speak the truth, when Junior first saw Gu Yao, I used this goo on her. Now, as long as we activate this smoke goo, the traces will appear and we can see it clearly. Man Duo had a smug expression as he continued, Good tribe leader, if we use this goo, and find Gu Yao hiding in your tribe's campgrounds, what will we do? He wanted to devour Gu Tribe, he obviously had plans. This chase smoke goo was suggested by Man Duo, to think that it would actually be used like this. Facing Man Duo's threat, Gu Tribe father and son relaxed in their heart. This chase smoke goo was good, once it was used, the truth of their words would be attested to without doubt. But Fang Yuan's heart jumped, this chase smoke goo could stain people who got close to it. He had once been in close proximity with Gu Yao, and even hugged her. With this smoke, wouldn't he be exposed? What now? Fang Yuan did not expect this, his heart was sinking. The Gu Worms set on him was Chang Shan Yin's enslavement path Gu Worms, 
it was good at huge battles, but had little use for personal fights. At this banquet, he was only rank 4 initial stage, but man tribe and good tribe leader had higher cultivation. There were even several elders and guards with rank 3 cultivation. Even if he brought the wolves over, two to three thousand ordinary wolves could not turn this situation around. At once, Fang Yuan's mind worked at lightning speed, all sorts of possibilities appeared as they sparked like flint. Soon after, he laughed heartily, this is great. With the chase smoke goo to certify, the truth will be out. Junior, quickly use it. He wanted to stall for time or reject the use of it, but that was impossible. Firstly, he as an outsider rejecting the use of chase smoke goo was very strange, it was almost admitting his guilt. Secondly, be it man tribe or good tribe, they both wanted to use chase smoke goo to confirm some details, there was no way to change their minds now. Thirdly, chase smoke goo was in the hands of someone else, even if Fang Yuan objected to it, could he stop man tribe from using it? Thus, Fang Yuan took the initiative to urge him, giving them an impression of being open and fearless. Hearing Fang Yuan's words, Man Tu was overjoyed, since Brother Chang Shan Yin has said it, Son, use it. But Man Duo was not happy, he observed the people's expressions, and realized that Man Tribe Father and Son were looking forward to this. Is Guyao really dead? Man Duo controlled his uneasiness and willed, activating this chase smoke goo. At once, the colorless and odorless smoke appeared in the air, turning black. Hmm. Eh, what's going on? This is. As expected, there was a thick cloud of smoke on Fang Yuan, in this illuminated banquet, it was very eye-catching. At once, everyone's gaze was on him. The lively atmosphere immediately turned solemn, no one said a word, there was a heavy mood in everyone. Fang Yuan frowned, his expression was a combination of shock and surprise, it made people think he was innocent. As if he thought that he was not eye-catching enough, Fang Yuan stood up from among the crowd, leaving his seat as he walked around. The black smoke trailed after him, forming a black smoke tail behind Fang Yuan. Man Duo's gaze flickered as Man Tu said happily, that means Brother Chang Shan Yin has met Gu Yao, and even had close interaction with her. Old man tribe leader had a complicated expression as he looked at Fang Yuan with an uncertain gaze. Gu Guang was still young, he was not composed enough as he stood up from his seat, staring at Fang Yuan in suspicion, asking, Uncle Chang Shan Yin, what is going on? Did you meet my sister Gu Yao when you were in poison grassland? Fang Yuan's expression was solemn, he did not explain himself, but walked back to his seat, saying seriously, to speak the truth, you are suspicious, but so am I, why is there so much smoke following me? Discover, devour, delight, n. V epsilon l b n. Man Duo said sinisterly, Senior Chang is a great hero of Northern Plains, I would not dare to come up with a conjecture for your suspicions. Senior Chang Shan Yin. Gu Guang could not hold it any longer, he stared at Fang Yuan with a flickering gaze. Fang Yuan heard him and looked at Gu Guang in the eye with no guilt, then turning to old Gu tribe leader, Brother Gu, you know my character. I swear in the name of the Wolf King, I did not meet your daughter in Poison Grassland. Gu tribe leader placed his right hand at his chest, making a great gesture with a solemn expression, Brother Chang Shan Yin, we hit it off so well when we first met, I believe your words. Gu Guang by the side wanted to speak but he controlled himself. Fang Yuan obviously understood that these words were not enough to dispel their suspicions. Immediately after, he frowned, showing a thinking expression, saying, I slept for twenty years, after I woke up, I left poison grassland. Along the way, I subdued many poison beard wolves, during the cold nights, I rest on the fur of my wolves to gain warmth. Most likely, one of the wolves ate brother's daughter, and thus, the smoke was passed to me when we made contact. Is that so? Gu Guang gritted his teeth, his gaze flickering continuously. 
Fang Yuan's explanation made perfect sense, he was the first person who saw Fang Yuan leave Poison Grassland, when he saved him from the Wind Wolf group, he was manipulating the Poison Beard Wolves. We can get to the truth easily, my wolf pack is still resting in Good Tribe's ranch, can everyone follow me to the ranch, and we will be able to see the truth. Fang Yuan suggested. This suggestion made everyone interested. Then we will go ahead with this. Man Tu turned his gaze at Gu Tribe father and son, he still did not believe Gu Yao was dead. Old Gu Tribe leader stood up, let's go, we can be the witnesses. Everyone rode their hump wolves towards Gu Tribe's ranch. Fang Yuan's wolf pack was resting inside, they were strong and fit. Under the night sky, the poison beard wolves were more energetic. Using the chase smoke goose black smoke, the group successfully found out that a few of the poison beard wolves had much thicker smoke than Fang Yuan. O oh, longevity heaven, with the blessing of our ancestors, the murderer of my daughter was here all along. Good tribe leader saw this and cried in pain, he next bowed deeply at Fang Yuan, just as he was about to speak, Fang Yuan stopped him. Brother Gu, I know what you want to say. These poison beard wolves are yours to deal with. Fang Yuan said. Old Gu tribe leader cried tears of gratitude, Benefactor Chang Shan Yin, thank you. You not only saved my son, but you also brought the murderer of my daughter here. You are the closest friend of our Gu tribe for eternity. Gu Guang was silent. It was true that Fang Yuan saved him, but this was not enough to certify that he was innocent. If Chang Shan Yin killed his sister and ordered the poison beard wolves to consume his sister's corpse, that would also cause this result. Man Tu was panicking at the side. From start to end, he did not believe Gu Yao is dead. If Gu Tribe discovered the chase smoke Gu and cooperated with Gu Yao to fake this, it was very easy. Thus, he spoke, Gu Tribe leader, you have truly misunderstood Brother Chang Shan Yin. Brother Chang is a great hero of Northern Plains, he is such an admirable person, how could he commit such a sinful act? The way I see it, we should follow this chase smoke goo into poison grassland and continue to collect evidence to clear Brother Chang's name. He wanted to use Fang Yuan as an excuse to find out the truth, whether Gu Yao was really dead or not. If Gu Yao entered poison grassland, there would surely be a trail of smoke along the way. But at this time, Gu Guang spoke, no need for that, I have a way to prove Uncle Chang Shan Yin's innocence. Father, back then when you prepared a set of precious water path Gu worms for sister, you used the rank 5 hints and clues Gu on them. Sister knows this, thus if she is killed, she will follow your instructions to keep these Gu worms intact, leaving them for her murderer. This way, we can find her killer and exact revenge for her. As long as you take out that hints and clues Gu, that will be the best proof. Saying so, Gu Guang looked deeply at Fang Yuan. Chapter 448, Obtaining Another Rank 5 Gu Gui Wang moved quickly along the way, following the faint immortal Gu aura to a stalk of snow spirea. The immortal Gu's aura stopped here, the trail ends here. Gui Wang's gaze was anxious as he searched all around the snow spirea. No. No immortal Gu. The snow spirea's snow wash Gu was already taken, obviously someone came here. But why is there no immortal Gu? If the immortal Gu continued moving, its aura would move too. But this aura ended here, is the immortal Gu dead? Gui Wang had a guess. But he refused to believe this, he used his investigative goo and searched the entire place thoroughly. No, there's nothing here. Gui Wang gritted his teeth, his heart was filled with indignance and regret. Wait. Suddenly, his gaze turned ruthless as he thought of a possibility, at the center of this poison grass land is Z Du Blessed Land, the rank 7 goo immortal lady poison scorpion lives in it. Did she take the immortal goo? A mortal's aperture cannot hold an immortal goo, but a goo immortal's aperture can. After the immortal goo enters the aperture, the aura would stop leaking. In that case, 
this would be the most logical explanation. That means Lady Poison Scorpion stayed home and had an immortal goo arrive at her doorsteps. Damn it, curses. Gui Wang stomped his foot, he would rather believe that the goo was taken by Lady Poison Scorpion than the fact that it could have died. But he would never guess that the real immortal goo did not die, but instead Fang Yuan used iron cabinet goo to seal its aura before backtracking and burying the goo along the way. Gui Wang followed the aura's trail, moving forward, as Fang Yuan controlled the ceiling, the goo worm's aura weakened as he followed it, this created a speculation. Gui Wang wanted to chase after the goo, he would never have guessed that along the way, the fixed immortal travel goo was buried somewhere. When he thought of Lady Poison Scorpion, jealousy and hatred forced his speculations to hit a dead end. Lady Poison Scorpion is a rank 7 goo immortal, she is very strong. I can gather the Hua Hai three immortals and loner Hong Yu to attack Lang Ye blessed land, that is because of the promised benefits. I do not have the bargaining chips to get them to attack Zi Du blessed land as well. This is so hateful. If I came ten days ago, the immortal Gu might have been mine. Looking at the time, Zi Du blessed land is about to open its doors and expel the poisonous gas inside, I am not her match, I should leave now. Gui Wang stomped his feet and flew into the air, entering the dark clouds. The dark cloud moved around as Gui Wang looked around with indignance, only after a long while did he fly back to his home. This was destined to be a busy night, at Gu Tribe Ranch, everyone's attention was on Fang Yuan. If Fang Yuan killed Gu Yao and took her Gu, the hints and clues Gu would cause him to be exposed. Fang Yuan's earlier lie would be exposed as well, if you did not meet Gu Yao, why do you have her Gu? By then, no explanations would work. Sun. Gu tribe leader stared angrily at Gu Guang, extremely furious, benefactor Chang Shan Yin is so righteous and upright, how can you be suspicious of him? Quickly kneel down and kowtow to our benefactor to ask for forgiveness. Father. Gu Guang was shocked, he did not expect Gu tribe leader's reaction. Wasn't he always trying to get revenge for sister? Father missed out one point so I pointed it out for him, what did I do wrong? At one side, man tribe father and son started watching this show as bystanders. Brother Gu, your son had said that, you do have a hints and clues Gu right? Fang Yuan's expression was calm, his gaze clear as water, then please take it out and activate it. This. Old Gu tribe leader hesitated. Brother Gu, if you have a method to prove my innocence, why are you still hiding it? Ha ha ha, I am overjoyed by it. Fang Yuan smiled warmly. Good tribe leader observed his expression for a while, then looked at man tribe's father and son. The two were staying silent, quietly watching this, but their gazes had deep meaning in them. Never mind, since benefactor Chang Shan Yin insists, I will go ahead with it. Gu tribe leader gritted his teeth and took out hints and clues Gu. This Gu was shaped like a black spider, it was fist-sized and was plump. Eight hairy black legs with shiny tips, resembling water chestnuts. Gu tribe leader injected primeval essence, and hints and clues Gu's body gave out a faint white light. Within 500 li, if there were Gu worms that were marked by the Gu master, it would emit a red light and point in their direction. If the Gu Master was hiding the Gu Worms inside their aperture, this range would be only within a thousand steps, but it stayed in Gu Tribe Leader's hand without having any changes. Seeing this, Gu Guang kneeled on the ground with a plop and kowtowed to Fang Yuan, Uncle Chang Shan Yin, I was wrong. I wanted to get to the bottom of the matter and offended you. Please punish me. Quickly get up, I have to thank you for proving my innocence, what wrong did you do? Fang Yuan smiled faintly as he helped Gu Guang get up. Rewinding back to the day when Fang Yuan killed Gu Yao. Before death, the young girl cried, Chang Shan Yin. I don't know how I am blocking your path to success. But now, even if you kill me, I do not hate you. Maybe you are seeking revenge. 
I will leave all my goo worms to you, I hope they can be of some use for your path to success. Cough cough. The girl coughed out blood and begged Fang Yuan with a grieved smile, I am going to die, but before I die, I have a small favor to ask. I hope you can hug me, I really want to feel your warm embrace. However, Fang Yuan did not move, his gaze coldly looking at the girl. He looked at the girl and saw her expression becoming stiffer as vitality left her bit by bit. Finally, the flower-like girl became an ice-cold corpse. Fang Yuan fell into a long silence as he looked at Gu Yao's face. She gave all her gu to me. What is the meaning of this? She loved Chang Shan Yin indeed, but how can she not hate me for killing her? Her love was only a young girl's affection, breeding for only a few days. Her hatred was due to the loss of her life, the hatred of being killed. It is evident which is a stronger emotion. Ha! Hey. This girl is still too young, her acting is terrible, how can she hide that hatred in her eyes when she spoke to me? Although I lack goo worms, and her goo worms are all of high quality, she intentionally left them for me, to play it safe, I should not take them. Next, Fang Yuan willed, and the poison beard wolves moved, devouring her corpse until nothing was left. From start to end, he did not touch the goo worms in Gu Yao's aperture at all. Seeing this result, Gu tribe leader breathed out a sigh of relief, praising Fang Yuan continuously, Brother Chang Shan Yin, I have learnt much today. You are indeed a great hero of the grassland, your conduct is like tonight's moon, pure like water, with no impurities. No matter how dirty the floor is, it will not pollute the moon. No matter how thick the clouds are, they will not hinder your radiance. We good tribe owe you a great deal, my son was rash and suspected you. We only have this rank five hints and clues Gu, I will give it to you today as an apology, please accept it, otherwise, I will not be able to sleep properly. Rank 5 Gu was hard to come by, but under everyone's gaze, Gu tribe leader handed it over to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan rejected it for a few times, but Gu tribe leader was very insistent, he had no choice but to accept it. Just like this, Fang Yuan obtained his second rank 5 Gu in Northern Plains. Next, everyone continued the banquet until late into the night, as they parted happily under the moon. Man Tu invited Fang Yuan earnestly to be a guest as his tribe. But Fang Yuan said that he was going to leave not long later, to join the hero's assembly. But before leaving, he would go visit Man Tribe first. Looking at Fang Yuan and Good Tribe's father and son leave on their hump wolves, Man Tu's smile vanished and his expression turned ugly. It seems this Gu Yao is dead without doubt. Man Tu's tone was gloomy. Father, no need to fret. Man Duo at the side snickered, this good tribe wants to make use of Hong Yen Valley, he has to beg us, they have nowhere to run. Listening to his son's words, Man Tu's expression relaxed, he patted Man Duo's shoulders, you are right, I was too obsessed with it. These years, Man Tribe had been expanding, you have contributed greatly to it. But you are only C grade in aptitude, your talent is insufficient, when father retires, and your elder brother takes charge of man tribe, you have to assist him well. Yes father, do not worry. Man Duo replied curtly and positively, but he was snorting in his heart. He was also his father's son, why can't he compete for the leader's role, why must he give it to his brother? Because of aptitude, he cannot become the tribe leader. No. If elder brother ascended to the position of tribe leader, he will kill me. Sigh, what a pity, I wanted to marry Guyao to make good tribe part of my force, with this relationship tying us together. But heaven played a joke on me, Guyao actually died. Unfilial son, kneel down. Once they got into the secret room, with only the two of them left, good tribe leader's expression sank as he screamed at Gu Guang. Father. Gu Guang was shocked, he did not understand why his father was so furious, but he subconsciously kneeled down first. Father, I am your son, you can scold or beat me, as long as your anger fades. 
But I have a request, I hope that father can tell me why you are so furious after you calm down. I will change and no longer make you angry. Gu Guang said. Gu tribe leader laughed coldly, standing before Gu Guang and pointing at his nose, I know you feel very indignant, let father tell you the reason, to let you know the immense danger we were in tonight. Did you really think Man Duo proposed to your sister because of her good looks? Gu Guang was stunned, was that not the case? Gu Yao was the beauty of our tribe, so many youngsters were chasing after her. Bullshit! Gu tribe leader howled, beauty is just the icing on top of authority. Man Duo has Man Tu behind him, his objective is to devour our good tribe, that is why Man Tu supported Man Duo greatly to marry your sister. Chapter 449, Strength is the Most Important Ha, huh, Man Tribe wants to devour our good tribe? Gu Guang screamed. Old good tribe leader sighed, Sai, your sister is already dead, they were not willing to listen to my explanation, why do you think that is the case? Because this excuse is perfect for them to send their troops. But father found Chang Shan Yin to assist us, he was the hero of Northern Plains, he had great reputation, and had Chang tribe behind him. Man too did not dare to accuse us blindly, thus he did not attack us tonight. Gu Guang exclaimed, there is such a twist behind it. But father, I do not understand, since you understood man tribe's intentions already, why did you agree to this wedding, and betrothed sister to that monkey man duo? Gu tribe leader raised his finger, knocking on Gu Guang's head, do you not have a brain? Why did I agree to the wedding? Did you think I want to torture my own daughter? It is because the great blizzard is coming, if we can become relatives through marriage, we can stay inside Hong Yen Valley, and protect all our tribesmen. Sacrificing your sister's happiness to protect Gu tribe. This wedding is a transaction, Sai, but your sister ran away from her wedding, and died in poison grassland. Gu Guang frowned, blinking, Father, I understand now. No, you know nothing. Gu tribe leader understood his son well, he explained in a disappointed tone, Tonight, man tribe leader invited Chang Shan Yin, and we followed him. But the truth is, their target was us, and I dragged Chang Shan Yin along as our shield. That man duo used the chase smoke goo, he is truly evil. When all of you suspected Chang Shan Yin, I said to him that I trusted him completely. Did you think I was not suspicious? I am not so muddle-headed yet. Good tribe leader stomped his foot, his tone was grim, but father did not dare to suspect him. The reason we could contend with Man Tribe is because of Chang Shan Yin. If we suspected him, their instigation would have succeeded, and ruined our relationship with Chang Shan Yin. If Chang Shan Yin did not side with us, we might not return alive from tonight's banquet. Shock was written all over Gu Guang's face, ah, are they so daring, would they try to kill the both of us? Humph, why did you think that you met so many wind wolves during the search? In Northern Plains, there are lots of instances where beast groups were used to commit murder. But tonight, Man Tribe might not kill us, but they would imprison us. By then, they would use Gu Yao's matter as an excuse to devour our Gu Tribe, without us, Gu Tribe would be without a leader, the result would be disastrous. Hearing his father's explanation, Gu Guang finally understood the danger they were in, showing after fear on his face. For the sake of the tribe, for the big picture, even if Chang Shan Yin was the killer, we cannot suspect him. Did you really think I forgot the hints and clues Gu? How can that be? But you had to mention it, if the killer was really Chang Shan Yin, what would we do? Old Gu tribe leader spoke meaningfully. Gu Guang fell into deep silence, after a long while, he said, so that is why father gave the precious hints and clues Gu to Chang Shan Yin. It is to mend our relationship with him, so that he would side with us. Old good tribe leader nodded, you are finally learning. Son, although you have outstanding aptitude, and high cultivation, you are still far from being the new good tribe leader. Father, it is great to have you around. I will have to learn more from you, good tribe can lose anybody but you father. 
Gu Guang said in admiration. Good tribe leader shook his head, time waits for no man, I am already old, good tribe is counting on you. Sigh, after this matter, I have understood man Tuesday. He is a greedy jackal, no matter how much his wealth is, he would never be satisfied. Now that your sister is gone, we have no excuses left to use Hong Yen Valley. But we cannot disband and join Man Tribe right? Good tribe cannot go extinct like this, otherwise I will be the greatest sinner of our tribe. After this night, I have already learnt that we cannot stay here any longer, otherwise we will definitely be devoured by Man Tribe. A few days later, we will depart for the hero's assembly. Father, if we leave like this, will they let us go so easily? Gu Guang was worried as he asked. Of course they are not willing to let us go, but we are traveling with Chang Shan Im. Man too is wary of Chang Shan Im, he would not strike. Good tribe leader snickered. But, we are making use of senior Chang Shan Im like this, isn't that? Gu Guang was apprehensive. You fool! Why would we not make use of him? What's wrong with that? A good hunter makes full use of his surroundings. When we have insufficient strength, we use knowledge to supplement it. This is all for the survival of the clan. After good tribe leader scolded, he stopped and showed a complex expression, but this Chang Shan Yin is truly a legendary heroic character, he might have already understood the situation, yet he still chose to side with us. Such a righteous and upright person, choosing to assist the weak, he is truly the role model of the righteous path, the light of the people. Son, rejoice, we good tribe actually met such a person. Time passed quickly, a few days went by. Inside the room, Fang Yuan held his bone bamboo goo as the ghost fire burnt it completely, breathing out heavily, this is the final bone bamboo goo. These days, he worked hard and used up all hundred of the bone bamboo goo in the gift box. After his treatment, eight of Battle Bone Wheel's most severe wounds were healed. Now, although the wheel was still covered in injuries and cracks, it had left the emergency stage. Sending the Battle Bone Wheel back to the aperture, Fang Yuan started to inspect his aperture. He had rank for peak stage cultivation. Thus, his aperture walls were in the form of transparent crystals. His primeval sea was at 90% full, all of it was true gold primeval essence. But Fang Yuan had just arrived in Northern Plains, before he adapted to the environment, his true gold primeval essence was only at the initial stage light gold primeval essence. Thus, Fang Yuan's cultivation was not progressing. Using light gold primeval essence, I cannot break through the aperture walls and become a rank 5 Gu master. To accelerate my adaptation, there are ways to do so, most commonly, it is to use the third watch Gu, to accelerate my own time. But that way, the Gu master's lifespan will also be shortened proportionally. Such a measure that pursued quick success was not acceptable to Fang Yuan. It was not because he treasured his lifespan, but because of spring autumn cicada. If Fang Yuan used third watch Gu on himself, the river of time on him will flow three times faster. That way, the spring autumn cicada's recovery will also be three times as fast. Other than his vital goo and fixed immortal travel goo in poison grassland, Fang Yuan still had multiple goo worms. Among them were two rank five goo from northern plains. One was Battle Bone Wheel, it was recovering and could not be used in the meantime. The other was Hints and Clues goo, it could be used to scout or track people. Good tribe still had some foundations, they actually had a rank 5 hints and clues goo. This goo can be used to track goo worms, it is used to capture wild goo worms to prevent them from escaping. Unfortunately, even though good tribe leader had this goo worm, he did not dare to search for his own daughter. Towards the conflict between good tribe and man tribe, Fang Yuan was clear as day. Man Tu's third son Man Duo had great ambition, he wanted the tribe leader position, but because of his low cultivation, he wanted to have good tribe. After marrying Gu Yao, and making good tribe related to him through his wife, they would be able to fight for the tribe leader position. 
Man too was not necessarily ignorant of his son's intentions, but he was very interested in devouring Good Tribe. Meanwhile, Good Tribe wanted to use the marriage to sacrifice Gu Yao in exchange for Hong Yen Valley, to survive the once in ten years great blizzard, and get through this difficulty. Good Tribe naturally did not want to dissolve, but Man Tribe wanted to gain the benefits of absorbing them without facing any consequences. After Gu Yao escaped, Man Tribe used this excuse to turn on them, in fact, they might have even caused Gu Guang's incident. As long as they killed Good Tribe's father and son, Good Tribe would be leaderless, and they would fall into chaos, easily taken over by Man Tribe. Gu Guang was ignorant and naive, but old Good Tribe leader was experienced and wise, he knew the circumstances they were in, and found out that he was unable to satisfy Man Tu's greed, but at this point, they had no way out, thus he controlled himself and stayed inside the tribe, not giving Man Tribe a chance to strike. Chang Shan Yin's arrival gave Good Tribe hopes of getting out of this problem. When old Good Tribe leader found out Fang Yuan's identity as Chang Shan Yin, he thought of using him. Thus, he attended to Fang Yuan warmly and even gave a million primeval stones as a gift. Next, he did well, using Chang Shan Yin's power to contest with Man Tribe. At that moonlight banquet, it might have looked like a cozy gathering, but the three sides were competing. Danger was lurking at every corner, and everyone was hiding their lethal weapons. N00V Euro L S set 1 and hosted the premiere release of this chapter. The result was Man Tribe suffered a setback, not only did they fail to deal with Gu Tribe, they even lost the excuse that they had, Gu Yao. But they did not lose, they were still the strongest among the three. Gu Tribe used Chang Shan Yin making use of his reputation to protect their tribe, surviving this crisis. Even though they succeeded, they were still at the weaker position. As for Fang Yuan, he pretended to be ignorant, using the two sides and their conflict to achieve his goal of spreading his name, while benefiting from their competition and strengthening himself. Man is the spirit of all beings, when humans competed, it was not simply through fights and killing. Even in this primitive and open northern plains, knowledge and schemes was still used to compete. As for Gu Yao. This innocent young girl was only a sacrifice for the two tribes' political struggle. In fact, according to Fang Yuan's personal guess, Gu Yao's escape was unnatural, she was able to get out of the tightly secured Gu tribe camp, mostly likely the old Gu tribe leader had arranged for it in an attempted to probe man tribe. But accidents always happened in reality, plans cannot keep up with changes, Man Tribe's eldest son or second son might have struck, afraid of Man Duo gaining power, hoping that Gu Yao would die. Anyway, after Gu Yao escaped to Poison Grassland and met Fang Yuan, the series of events unfolded. Shaking his head, Fang Yuan cleared these guesses out of his mind, the basis of any scheme is power. Why did Man Tribe not attack Gu Tribe directly? that is because they were not a super tribe but a large tribe only, they had limited strength. Why was Good Tribe able to stay safe until now, not just because of me, but also because of their foundation as a former large tribe? If old Good Tribe leader had rank 5 cultivation, he might have used hints and clues Gu long ago. No matter which world, strength is the foundation for everything. But now, the astute Good Tribe leader might be planning to migrate his tribe again. To deal with the ten-year blizzard, he might need to borrow the imperial court's power. Chapter 450, Measuring the Stature of Great Men by the Yardstick of Small Men What happened next was all according to Fang Yuan's expectations. Just a day later, Gu tribe leader visited Fang Yuan, saying he had thought it through, he did not want to stay in Hong Yen Valley, but instead wanted to migrate the entire tribe, to participate in the heroes' assembly in fighting for a place in the imperial court. Fang Yuan knew old Gu tribe leader's intentions, it was to make use of Chang Shan Yin once more to get free of Man tribe's control. Fang Yuan agreed immediately, if he was to travel on the grassland alone, it would be troublesome. With the accompaniment of Gu tribe, the risks would be much lower, and he would have a layer of protection. Brother Gu is wise, but we cannot wait anymore, we should leave as soon as possible. 
Once we make a move, I'm sure Man Tribe would notice immediately. Fong Yuan reminded. Old Good Tribe leader's heart shook, just hearing this sentence, he knew Chang Shan Yin was aware of what was happening. Fong Yuan continued, I had originally promised Man Tribe to visit them. But since Good Tribe is relocating, to play safe, I will not go to them. Just say that I had felt my cultivation returning during these few days and have gone into closed cultivation. I will write a letter now, I will have to trouble brother to find someone to send it over for me. If Good Tribe did not relocate, then Fang Yuan would have no issues visiting Man Tribe. But if Good Tribe wanted to leave, Man Tribe would not let go of them. Man Tribe is worried about Good Tribe and Chang Shan Yin cooperating, they might even hold him captive, to deal with Good Tribe separately. Earlier, when Gu Guang was attacked by the Wind Wolves, it was most likely done by Man Tribe. Man Tribe was after all part of the Righteous Faction, to prevent rumors from spreading, they would not kill Chang Shan Yin, but Good Tribe was too alluring, they could use all sorts of reasons to place Chang Shan Yin under house arrest, that was something they could do. After old Good Tribe leader heard Fang Yuan's words, he looked at him deeply and stood up, bowing, standing before brother, my wisdom is nothing. I was muddle-headed earlier, brother has a clear picture of the current situation. He he he, as someone involved in this contest, it is easy for you to be misled, that is normal, do not worry about it. As long as we leave this area, Good Tribe would be free. Fang Yuan consoled old Good Tribe leader as he wrote a letter and handed it to Good Tribe leader. Brother Gu, I have to cultivate, I will not send you off. Today, I will start the preparations for moving off, the letter will definitely be sent, goodbye. Old Good Tribe leader took the letter and left the room. After he returned to his tent, he called the elders for a meeting and gave the instructions to prepare for migration. After Gu Yao's supposed marriage, Good Tribe elders have a terrible impression of Man Tribe, they praise this ingenious decision. After Good Tribe father and son returned to their study room, old Good Tribe leader opened Fang Yuan's letter immediately. Father, isn't this a bit? Gu Guang felt embarrassed. He, let father teach you another lesson today. This is the letter Chang Shan Yin wrote to Man Tu, but he did not use a letter Gu, why do you think that is so? Old Good Tribe leader snickered. Because he doesn't have a letter Gu? No, if he wants to use it, he can borrow it from us. Gu Guang thought about it, as his eyes flashed, that mean, this is intentional? He he he, that's right. The reason why he is sending a normal letter is so that we can see it. Good tribe is about to migrate, next we will travel together, this letter is to display his intention to cooperate with us along the journey. Come here, we will look at this together. Saying so, old good tribe leader unsealed the letter. The content in the letter was very simple, it explained that Fang Yuan needed time to recover his cultivation through closed cultivation. He expressed great regret for not being able to visit Man Tribe, and he would definitely make up for it in the future. Next, he wanted to purchase Bone Bamboo Goo from Man Tribe, saying that he will pay 120% of the market price for them. At the same time, he wrote a large number of Goo refinement materials, as well as Goo worms like Third Watch Goo, hoping they could have a transaction. Oh, so Uncle Chang Shan Yin needed these Goo worms. Father, I think we should try and give them to him, after all, he has helped us so much. Gu Guang said. Old Good Tribe leader stared at this letter, his eyes shining brilliantly as a chill emerged in his heart. This battle between Good Tribe and Man Tribe was mostly through hidden schemes, they did not fall out with each other on the surface, this was the rule of the righteous path that had to be adhered to. They sacrificed many people, one of Good Tribe's elder died after being challenged by Man Duo, and Gu Yao also died in Poison Grassland. Other than that, many Gu masters became the wolves' food. In this contest, be it Man Tribe or Gu Tribe, neither of them were winners. Man Tribe did not achieve their aims, and Gu Tribe also had many sacrifices. However, there was one person who benefited completely. This person was the Chang Shan Yin. 
Look at it this way, when Chang Shan Yin left Poison Grassland, he was empty-handed, without a proper set of goo worms, but now. In this hidden battle, he earned till his pockets were full, having over a million primeval stones as gains, not to mention the rank 5 hints and clues goo. Good tribe leader suddenly understood, good tribe was making use of Chang Shan Yin, but was Chang Shan Yin not making use of them as well? Chang Shan Yin might seem like he was trapped between two tribes, forced into their political strife, and attracted problems for himself unnecessarily. But the truth was, neither of them wanted to offend him, thus he gained benefits from both sides. We do not need to prepare these for Chang Shan Yin. Man tribe will send these things over, in fact, they might even give these to him for free. Good tribe leader heaved a sigh as he tried to expel that cold feeling in his heart. Ha! Huh. Gu Guang was shocked, how is that possible? Uncle Chang Shan Yin is evidently helping us, is man tribe so stupid? Someone in a high position sees things differently. What is the value of these things? Merely a few hundred primeval stones, it is nothing to man tribe. Using these goods to gain the friendship of an expert, isn't that a good deal? Have you thought about how much we gave Chang Shan Yin already? Gu Guang immediately thought of the million primeval stones and the rank 5 hints and clues Gu. Gu tribe leader sighed deeply, there was another meaning to this, but it was still too early for Gu Guang to comprehend. Why did Chang Shan Yin want to deal with Man Tribe? He was not making a deal, he was establishing a relationship with them. Using this, Chang Shan Yin expressed to Man Tribe that although he went back on his word and did not visit Man Tribe, he was not their enemy despite being a good tribe. He did not want to be enemies with Man Tribe, in fact he wanted to be friends, thus, they could undergo transactions. Man too was not a fool, he would understand what Chang Shan Yin was trying to express in his letter, his goodwill. If Man Tribe rejected this deal, that would be rejecting Fang Yuan's kindness. If they sold the goods according to their price, this would show an indifferent attitude. If they gifted the goods to Fang Yuan, that would mean Man Tribe was accepting this kindness, and was willing to be friends with Chang Shan Yin. This deal was not important, the underlying meaning was. Such a hidden and implicit communication method was something the righteous path higher-ups often did. Good tribe leader suddenly had a flash of inspiration, thinking, this Chang Shan Yin, the reason why he is helping good tribe might not be due to his righteous nature. But because he can have the greatest benefits by siding with us. Man tribe was huge and powerful, having a Chang Shan Yin was only adding icing on the cake. But good tribe was weak, with Chang Shan Yin, it was simply a great asset as he had the ability to stabilize the power balance between the two. With this thought, old good tribe leader shuddered, the coldness in his heart became thicker, almost freezing his bones. The old tribe leader subconsciously rejected this thought, if Chang Shan Yin is such a scheming person despite being a hero of this magnitude, would there still be righteousness and light in this world? I am simply measuring the stature of great men by the yardstick of small men. Three days later. Man tribe's father and son stood on the mound, watching good tribe leave towards the south. Lord father, there is something I don't understand, I would like to ask father. Man duo asked. Speak. You gave the things mentioned in the letter to Chang Shan Yin for free, I understand the meaning of that. But why did you also give Good Tribe a thousand and five hundred tons of provisions? Not only is our prey escaping, we even have to supply them, this. Man Duo felt indignant. Man Tu's expression was solemn, looking at the leaving Good Tribe, he said, Man Hao, explain. Elder Man Hao who was standing at the side laughed as he explained, no need to worry third young master, Lord Tribe leader had planned this long ago. Good tribe is dreaming if they want to leave so easily, there are a large number of wolf lure goo inside the provisions, at the same time, we have tribesmen ahead, with three myriad wolf groups waiting in ambush for them. So that's it. Man duo understood at once, father is wise, once good tribe is unable to resist the wolf pack, 
our tribe will move out and save them, assimilating them using this chance. In future, if anyone suspects us, Father can use this thousand and a half tons of provisions to show his sincerity and magnanimity, it will shut those suspicious people up. But. Towards the end, Man Duo was hesitant. Man Hao sighed, saying, but this way, Good Tribe would suffer great losses, and the gains of our tribe from taking over Good Tribe would be far less. In fact, we might even have to invest an amount of resources to take care of the injured. But Man Duo shook his head, Man Hao's concerns were not the same as him, Good Tribe has that Chang Shan Yin, he is hailed as the Wolf King, can these wolves stop him? Man Tu started frowning. Man Duo expressed his own worry, he had such thoughts as well. But Good Tribe left too quickly, Man Tribe was part of the righteous path, they could not act recklessly, in this short period, they could only gather three myriad wolf groups. If Good Tribe survives this assault, Man Tribe can only watch them leave. But if they suffer great losses during the process, Man Tribe would have the excuse to send reinforcements. The greatest uncertainty in this plan was Chang Shan Yin. Don't worry, third young master, although this Chang Shan Yin is known as the Wolf King, that is over 20 years ago. His current cultivation is only rank 4 initial stage, and during the banquet, we checked secretly, his soul is no longer thousand man soul but has dropped to hundred man soul. Man Hao spoke with disdain. He he, even if he is the wolf king, he is only a weak and barely surviving old wolf king. Moreover, what trump cards does he have? Only a thousand wind wolves and a thousand poison beard wolves, and a thousand water wolves. Ha ha ha, against three ten thousand wolf groups, what can his wolves do? The way I see it, his reputation will be ruined soon enough. We can prepare to devour good tribe already. Man. Duo did not rebuke him, but said, hopefully so.